Cameron again, and welcome back to Library Macabre, where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today, I am joined by my friend Janine Pipe as we review Halloween Season by Lucy A. Snyder. Halloween Season by Lucy A. Snyder is a short story collection featuring 13 short stories and two poems. The book opens with a poem called Beggar's Night, which I thought was pretty cool considering here in Ohio our trick-or-treat is called Beggar's Night, and a lot of people to the west don't really know what Beggar's Night is. It's just trick-or-treating. Uh, it's just what we call it because trick-or-treating doesn't always fall on Halloween here. Sometimes it does, sometimes we'll have it just uh, any weekend that is close to Halloween. And that's one thing that I really loved about this book is that a lot of the stories take place in Ohio. Um, Columbus is referenced, which is a, a city that I go to a lot. Cleveland is mentioned, Ohio State University is mentioned, and being someone who lives in Ohio, I just thought those references were really cool. It, uh, it gave me a little bit of excitement. Now, as for the stories themselves, you would think since the book is called Halloween Season, it has this beautiful beautiful cover that each story would be Halloween themed and there are a few Halloween stories namely one that is called uh, Cosmic Cola that one was my favorite that one had a really great uh, Halloween atmosphere very nostalgic um, there's costume party so all of that good stuff is included and it definitely gave me my Halloween fix um, the rest of the stories some of them take place on Halloween, um, but they're not really about Halloween specifically. Some of the stories don't reference Halloween at all, so it's mostly just a horror anthology. So this is definitely not a book that has to be read on Halloween. I know you're, you're going to want to read it on Halloween because of the title and the cover, but they really could be enjoyed any time of the year because a lot of the stories aren't specifically about Halloween. And I would say that's really the main thing that disappointed me with this book, is that I really wanted that nostalgic Halloween atmosphere all the way through. Just like you would see here with the cover, I just think that is the, the best cover of the year. It is beautiful and I really wanted that from all of the stories in this book, but it didn't always deliver that. The majority of the stories are very imaginative and unique, so they're definitely good stories and they're well written. I just wanted more Halloween. So really that part was disappointing to me. I, I hate to say that, but it's true. I just wanted more pumpkins and trick-or-treating and all of that fun stuff. But that is just my opinion because I've seen a lot of reviews from people who really love this book and it gave them their Halloween fix. Namely, Janine Pipe, who is going to share her thoughts on the book right now. Hi, and welcome to my part of the buddy review um, that I'm doing with Cameron. For Halloween Season by Lucy A. Snyder. Um, I really enjoyed this collection. Uh, we have 15 short Halloween stories, all in varying length and um, varying in style and content. Um, as with any collection, there were ones that I enjoyed more than others. So of the 15, my favourites were Cosmic Cola, Porcupine Boy, in the family, the kind detective, and the house that couldn't clean itself. Now, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy the others, but they were just the five that in particular stood out for me. And um, especially I found the short story about the children in Cosmic Cola, um, one that really resonated with me. And I think it gave me um, some nostalgic, almost goosebump type feels, which is something that I really enjoy about Halloween. Um, this isn't a kid's Halloween book by any stretch of the imagination. There are definitely adult themes within, but um, I don't think that any of them are particularly um, terrifying or anything like that. Um, the last two stories come with a small warning to say that they're R-rated, and there is a reason for that, And they, but I think that they were actually quite good fun. Um, there, there wasn't any stories I didn't particularly like, there wasn't any that I thought, oh, I really wish that wasn't included, but there were a couple that weren't 
quite my cup of tea which is always the way in in any kind of collection whether it be um a collection by one author or an anthology there's always going to be ones that um resonate better with you than others i've got a real eclectic mix of um plot and characters and settings within this um we've got stories about um voodoo we've got stories about space we've got stories about witches and demons um robots there's there's all sorts going on in here so i i would suggest that 99 out of 100 horror readers would find something of a genre that they enjoy in here um it gave me real halloween vibes obviously <laughs> which was really helpful because um the uk has decided that it's going to go through a mini heat wave at the moment um so whilst i should have been reading this um snuggled up in a jumper with the fire on watching the leaves turn it's actually bright sunshine outside which is not helpful and also we don't even have pumpkin spice in the uk yet get it sorted britain so this was exactly what i needed to get me into the spirit uh, so i could at least pretend that it is halloween time october fall all that kind of stuff within my own world which is what i needed um, it's the perfect thing just to cozy up to and read and the thing that I love about short story collections as well is that um, you could pick it up at any time with a cuppa and sit down and just read one or two of the stories. It's not like a, no a novel or a novella where you feel oh, I must get to the end of this chapter and oh maybe I should read some more now. You really can just dip in and dip out when the mood takes you which is always enjoyable with short story collections. Obviously, it's a perfect read for Halloween, but I would say that uh, if it doesn't come onto your radar quite yet and you buy it in springtime instead, then it's not going to matter. Um, it's perfect for Halloween, but you could read it at any time of the year and enjoy it because the stories are just really, really good. Um, I would give it in um, an overall score four pumpkins out of five. Um, and the reason why I would go with four would be that there were stories that I really enjoyed, there were stories that were good, and then there were a couple that were just not quite to my tastes. Um, so that would be the only reason. And then that's, that's standard with any kind of collection, really. So I would definitely say that this is your perfect Halloween read. And um, if you were to sit down with a nice cup of pumpkin spice coffee or a nice hot apple cider, uh, and read this before you go trick-or-treating or to a Halloween party or pumpkin carving then that would be absolutely perfect so big thumbs up for Halloween season a thank you to Lucy and to Erin for sending this to me all the way over in the UK and thank you to Cameron for buddy reading it with me thanks bye thank you Janine for sending in your thoughts I think it's really cool that we both had very different opinions overall of Halloween season so really it's up to you guys the viewers you have to read this book and you have to let us know what you thought it could go either way for you but if it sounds like the kind of book that you would like to read then it might be so there is Halloween season by Lucy A. Snyder thank you so much for watching thank you again to Janine for guest appearing on my channel she has a channel of her own and I definitely recommend that you go give her a follow and show her your support Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Library Macabre. Later, creeps.